Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Canalville where we are going to be building out a prison island right here. I'm actually super excited about this. I've been kind of playing around with some designs. I think I finally landed on something that's going to be fun. And so in the last episode, we built out this awesome national park around our waterfalls that we had created. And if you didn't check out the episode, it is definitely worth it. We did this road kind of wet wrapping around all the way up to some hotels. And then we did a bunch of detailing, put in some watchtowers, a couple little water towers, and then hiking trails all the way around. And I think it just looks cool. And you can see all these people using it. It is just fantastic. And I love that we did like the little decks and stuff up here. I think it just looks fantastic with little fishing piers and, and all that. And so on today's episode, we are going to be focusing on this island. I know it's been a while since we've moved on to a new island. And so this is like a big move. And so the first thing I want to do is jump into trees and we're going to just get crazy and remove all these because we're going to come back through and do all of our own detailing. And so I think we're going to do this in a couple stages. So I want to do a large prison on top with a little community and it needs to be self-sufficient. So we're going to end up doing like a solar array and its own water treatment facility. But then along the bottom side, I think over here, I want to do a really big naval base. And so I want to do like a shipyard, a bunch of docks, and then I want to do an actual little military encampment with some barracks and stuff like that. Maybe even an academy. I have some really cool ideas and I think it would be fun. And then I think we're going to do a small little community off this backside, mostly just for the military and for the prison employees. And so, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and level out a space in here. I want to create a freeway connection right here, but I think we're going to do some tunnels with it and I want to do something cool. So I think we're going to come up here and we're probably going to make that our prison right there. And then that way we can have a little bit of a cliffside around the outside. And then I think we will create a couple canals in here too, since that's kind of our whole theme here. I'm not sure if we're going to work on any of them today. I'm still kind of playing around with some ideas for the naval base and so I just wasn't ready to get it done today and so we are going to go like that yeah I feel like that's fantastic and then what we can do is go ahead and just do a line a road going all the way across and then we'll probably have it spit out over here and then dump down to this lower section I feel like that's going to be good and so I'm going to go ahead and throw in this freeway interchange real quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, and here we go. After a little bit of playing around, I finally got it done. I think it looks good. I decided to do a multi-tiered kind of effect. Initially, I wanted to do where I had each direction going off of each road. And then I was going to do two, two uh, direction roads going down here. And it just created a crossover over here that I just didn't really like. And so I decided to raise this one up and it is definitely much higher than I wanted it to be but I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. Now we have a pass under over here and a pass over over here, and it just looks really good. And so the biggest tip I can give with these is just to have a really large sweeping turns. You definitely don't want people to be changing lanes or having to break unnecessarily. This is how you can create a really efficient interchange. And so now that we got that, I went ahead and connected it up over here, did a little road. I think we are going to connect up our prison up here to it. And so now let's go ahead and jump into this. And I think we're going to extend this out a little bit further since we did that right there. So I think we're going to go like right about here. And what we're going to do is create a little road first. We're going to jump into a two unit road and we're not going to do anything with trees as I don't believe it's really going to be uh, necessary. So we're going to go into slope mode first. We're going to decrease the brush size. We're going to go ahead and right click right there. And we're going to go ahead and go down and go sideways. And there we go. This will be our primary connection, though. I think we're also going to do a helicopter depot at the top because I, I would definitely want to give it that remote kind of feel and so now let's jump back in here and let's go back down to ground and let's go to unmodded mode and we are going to come up and then begin to turn it so we're going to go like this and there we go nice and so i feel like this is a pretty good connection right here and so we have a couple things to consider we definitely need to provide a power plant so i think we're going to do some solar arrays i want to do a water treatment facility and i got some uh, awesome water treatment assets off the steam workshop and then I want to do our cell blocks, obviously, but then I want to do housing as well for any of the corrections officers or anything, any of the therapists maybe, or whoever works at a prison. And so I feel like this would just be a really cool, uh, really cool thing that we can do if we can get it all. I think we're also going to have to do services. And so I did get the interactive prison mod off of the Steam Workshop and I've used them before. I haven't really done a large one though, and they're actually really cool. They have this uh, kind of large prison block area and all of them have this kind of snapped fence that it does too, which I think we're gonna be playing around with it. We're not just gonna snap these in and call it a day. We're definitely gonna be changing some things around. And so now that we're up here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn on snapping and let's go straight. So I want to go like right about here. And then I think what we're gonna do is create a little bit of a roundabout. So I'm gonna go into the roundabout builder and we'll probably go like that. We don't need it to be huge. 
But what I want to do is provide a couple little avenues for here. So let's actually go back to that prison road. So we're gonna come up this way and then we're gonna come up this way. We can actually do a regular road on this side. I feel like that'll be good. So we'll go like this. And so the idea is that we'll have the actual prison on this side and then our little town on this side kind of overlooking everything like the base and everything. And so I think this is gonna be cool. So I think I'm gonna do a maximum security area right here. And then we're gonna do kind of like a general population or whatever they do at prisons kind of thing over here. And so now let's go in here and I want to go out here. We're gonna go up and then we're gonna turn and we're gonna come back and there we go. And so we have our first little block and what I wanna do is create some more fences around it. I don't really like how close that is. I feel like that's terrible. So I think we're actually gonna get rid of that. Nice. And so that way we can do some more barbed wire fence and just create a separation over here. That would be a little bit safer. I do wanna make this into a 90 though. So I think we're gonna come out here and just clean this up real quick. Nice, we have our first little block. And so let's go ahead and snap this in and check out this building. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this, but it's definitely an awesome little mod set on the Steam Workshop if you're interested in doing something like this. It's actually really easy. You don't have to uh, kind of snap down a bunch of stuff. But one of the things I don't really like is that all the buildings have exterior access, which I don't believe is accurate to something like this. And so what we're actually gonna do is convert them to procedural objects just so that we can plop them in. And so what we're gonna do is pop down little cell blocks now. So we're going to probably go like right here and then let's go in here, turn on PO so we can copy this. And I'm going to turn this, go like right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, copy it again, yeah, there we go. And then let's go ahead and do another little block over here. And then I don't really wanna block that in. I kinda wish that we could put them right next to each other. So maybe I'm gonna ship these over real quick. Okay, and so we have made our first little uh, kind of prison yard area. All right, so now what we're gonna do is jump in here and go to sports. And I'm actually going to convert this to a procedural object and place this right in the middle here. Yeah, there we go, nice. And so it's got a little bleachers. We're not gonna do any decals as I would imagine the, the prison probably wouldn't spend money on something like that. Those would just be concrete. So now what we're gonna do is fill all this in. All right, so now that we got that, we will, I wanted to do a cafeteria, but I think we could say that the cafeteria would be in this area. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and grab all this and just shift it down a little bit. So I think we're gonna go like right there and then we will paint in the rest of this concrete real quick. Yeah, there we go. So we have our first little prison block, which I think is great. And so I do wanna do some path access in here. So we're actually gonna use the park path. Okay, and so I think that this is probably good right there. I just wanted to do a path from this to there. And then now what we can do is place down some towers. So if we come in here and search a prison, we will then do some towers. We're gonna to go ahead and do one right here. And then we're gonna do one on each of the corners. I'm gonna come over here, go like this. And then what I wanna do is little catwalks. So we're actually gonna come in here, go to paths, and then we are going to go above. I think we're gonna go like right at the top of the building. So if we come up here, go this way, then come this way, then go this way. And there we go. I feel like that looks pretty good. And this is just gonna be an area where guards would maybe be walking around to uh, make sure that the, the prisoners weren't doing anything crazy. And so now what I'm gonna do is jump into node control and I'm actually gonna go around and decrease these a little bit. So I'm gonna go into stretch. I'm going to shrink these down so that they're a little bit smaller. These pathways are just a little too big. Okay, so I went ahead and put in catwalks all the way around and then I used node controller to make the paths a little bit more narrow. And this would just be where the guards could navigate the area um, without having to actually be on the ground, like say if there was a ride or anything. And then I went ahead and just put in these little uh, physical fitness walls for like handball or something or squash. And I put in a couple more basketball courts with two more cell blocks over here. I felt like this looked really good. And then just to kind of spruce it up a little bit, I did a couple strips of grass. Um, now I know a lot of these prisons don't have a ton of grass and so, or vegetation at all. And so I felt like it was just gonna be really nice to put that in there. I think we are gonna do something nice on the entrance area, like maybe outside, but I think in here, this is probably good. I am thinking about just removing all this surface painter though, and then coming in and doing like dirt paths or something. I feel like that could actually be better. I was kind of looking at it, I was like, man, I don't know how this would look, just all this concrete. Maybe we should do something else, maybe just some paths in here. Like maybe we'll do concrete paths and leave everything else green. I feel like that could be good. So if we come in here, go like that, and then we will come up here, connect this up, and then just go all the way around. Come down here, connect that up, nice. And so now there is at least a little bit of access. And so we will come down here and do the same thing, go like this, 
come down here, go like this. And I feel like that just looks a little bit better. We'll definitely still have to come in here with some concrete. So now what I think we'll do is we will come into surface networks and just use some square pavement pieces to uh, kind of clean this up a little bit. So if we come over here, some pavement, that one's a small one. Okay, so I went ahead and used surface networks down here and then did some surface painter with this ruined texture. And so now what I wanna do is jump in here and go back to our little prison tab and go to our fences. And I wanna draw these fences around these areas. Nice, and so there we go. We have created a nice enclosed area, which I think is fantastic. And you know what, I feel like that looks pretty good. So I like the whole double walled area. So this would be for safety. Like if somebody were trying to escape, then this whole area would be, they'd have to climb over the fence, run, and then climb over the fence again with all these little uh, guard towers. And I feel like that looks pretty safe. It, I'm looking over at this path right here and it looks like I messed up and put this thing in the ground somehow so i think what i'm going to do is go ahead and delete it and just redraw it in real quick okay so i went ahead and redrew that in i connected into the building in a little bit of a better location so i feel like this looks pretty good now what i want to do is go ahead and create another little area over here but first i want to connect up our little fence right here we are going to grab this and then come around nice just give it a nice and close look so then for this side we are going to use the same building we're going to go into the big entrance we're going to come up over here, probably put it right there. I feel like that's good. And then this is going to be like the maximum security area or whatever. And so we're going to come up over here and I'm going to go straight and I'm going to come down this way. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and connect up right there. Nice. I feel like that looks pretty good. I want to line this up real quick just because it's going to bother me if it's not perfect. So we'll go like that. And this is like right off a cliff side too. I feel like this is cool. I'll make sure that these fences are looking good. Yeah, they do. I think I'm going to go ahead and smoothen this out just a smidge, though. I feel like that looks good. And then the idea is that this is going to be more of a maximum security area, and so we're not going to have a ton of little blocks. I think we're actually just going to do a couple. So then we will do like a row of them maybe. So we'll come up over here and let's go ahead and copy this. And then let's go ahead and do a path down. So we will have the path come from like right here and then we're gonna have it cross. And then let's go ahead and do another little yard area right here. All right, so we're gonna jump back in here, go to our basketball courts, convert to PO again, grab this, go like right there. And then I'm gonna go back to that little wall too. I felt like that was just such an awesome little feature. So if we come in here, retaining wall, so in use, then we're just gonna go sideways. It doesn't need to be crazy big. So then we will grab this, go up, Ooh, it looks like we kind of messed up there. Definitely wouldn't want those to be in the sky. I feel like that would probably be bad. So then we will come back over here and grab these again and lower this back down, go like right there. Nice, I feel like this looks pretty good. And then um, let's go ahead and do another fence around. So we will go back to that first menu and come up over here, grab this. And then let's um, do a fence off of this. So we'll go like this, nice. And then let's go ahead and I actually had extended these towers. So I'm going to grab this and then copy. And then we're gonna go all the way around the outside. Okay, feel like this one actually looks really good. I like this one. So then let's jump into Surface Painter. And you know what, now we use the Surface Networks on that one. So Surface Networks, and then go to Pavement. Yeah, these ones right here. And then let's go ahead and draw across a little template. Go ahead and grab it, bring it over and just match it up. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just copy them and place them down. Okay, so we got that in. And so now let's go into Surface Painter and we are going to use the ruined texture again. We gotta be careful with our path because it just does not look great if you do it with the path. So we'll come up over here and let's just do concrete in this section. Nice, there we go. I feel like that looks fantastic. I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in this section in as well. Yeah, we'll go like that. Nice, and then I do wish I could clean this up a little bit better. That's kind of bothersome. It's not the end of the world, it looks good. And I think this is going to satisfy our need or demand for a prison. And so I feel like this is fantastic. I do wish that there was like little barbed wire assets. I feel like that would be cool. And so now let's focus on our utility area and then our small town. And then I think that's gonna be good. And so I got some solar panels. So if we come in here and go to solar panels, let's go ahead and actually do a road first. So I wanna do those rural county roads and let's go ahead and come up here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on snapping so I can get a 90 degree angle off of that. Go like that. And then let's go ahead and turn it. And then let's go back to our solar panels. 
Let's go ahead and place down a bunch of these. And these actually generate power too, which is just fantastic. Okay, and so now I got this awesome little substation as well that we can put right next to it. So we'll go like this, and then let's go ahead and do a small wall around or fence. I think we'll do the airport fence since I really like that fence. Come up over here, and then let's go ahead and draw it all the way around now. So now we have a solar power field with a substation, which I think is fantastic. And so now let's go ahead and do a road off this and do our water treatment facility. So we are going to connect it up right there. And let's go ahead and just connect it up. I don't think there's going to be a ton of traffic back here. And so now let's look up water treatment. All right, and so I got these awesome water treatment facilities. So this is administration and laboratory. I feel like that one's a little too big and kind of unnecessary. So we're going to go ahead and place this one down. And so I got these other facilities as well. So this is a clarifier and then this is an activated sludge processing tank, which I think is just fantastic. And we also got an aeration basin. Okay, and so I feel like this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hook up this road. And then I think we'll do a fence around this as well since there already is a fence right there. And I feel like that looks like the ore fence. So if we come in here and go to ore, so forestry, farm. I mean, it's not, but I'm gonna go ahead and place it all the way around the facility real quick. All right, and I feel like that looks pretty good. And we could come in and do concrete, but I feel like it's kind of unnecessary at this point. And so now let's do our little village up here. We're going to use those same roads and I think we're only going to do a couple rows. So if we come in here and then come all the way down, connect that up and then come down here and then come all the way down, connect that up. So we need to do some housing and then maybe just a couple shops like a general store or something. And then we'll do um, some services as well. We would definitely still want to have some medical facilities up here and stuff. All right, so the building I got is these awesome little military barracks and I feel like they're just a really great fit for this area. And so I do want to do them kind of in the middle. So we're going to go like this and go all the way down. And there we go. I feel like this is awesome little housing for this area. It's definitely not super nice, but they would probably do shifts where maybe they come in and do like two weeks or maybe even a week or possibly even a couple days. I'm not sure. Um, and then go home. And so this wouldn't be their permanent residence. And so I do want to do some paths in here. Okay. And so I got paths all the way around and let's go ahead and connect up some in the middle too. I feel like that would be good just to provide some, some access through here. So if we go like this and let's go ahead and do one more, we'll go like this, then we will copy it on the other side as well. And then I think we're going to do some trees and stuff, just make it into a, a little bit of a nicer area. And so I'm going to go ahead and fill this all in with water real quick, kind of connect these up to the water as well. Okay. Water hooked up. And so we do need to do some trash facilities up here as well. This would be like a small community. So I think we're going to do a recycle center right there and then let's do a cemetery or crematorium as well so maybe we'll put the crematorium right here and then let's do a medical clinic right next to it as well since you would still need to have some sort of er or quick uh, service like that nearby and then let's do a fire department and then a, a little police department as well i don't know if it would be necessary because of the prison but i feel like it would still be good to have up here we're going to go ahead and place those right next to each other and there i mean it's not pretty it's not intended to be super pretty this is for utility and so we are going to do some trees around here and these are just pretty much for the workers this should be connected up to water but i guess not oh you know what we need is a water tower i completely forgot so we're going to go ahead and do a water tower right there in the middle nice and so we have power generation we have water treatment we have water intake we just need to connect up access real quick. So let's go ahead and jump down to our road. And then we are going to just curve this in. Yeah, we'll go like that. Nice. And so now we have outside access and we wanna make sure that we have good safety over here. So we have this road going all the way around and then we have this road. Ooh, and it does look like maybe our underground road is having some issues. Ooh, so it's facing the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and fix that. That would be pretty important and check these other ones. Yeah, so these are good these are good i haven't hooked up lane mathematics yet so that's going to be important and so we already got some cars going it looks like these are a little uh little police cars yeah so they're going to go and pick up prisoners and then move them over here which is super cool yeah so we have criminals in prison so 150 prison vans in use so they're literally going to go out to all our little jails throughout the city and pick up people which i think is fantastic and so now let's go ahead and do a little shop in here so i think this little store looks good so if we go ahead and put this right on the corner it would just be like your little corner market and then let's go ahead and do one more right next to it just to make this like a diner All right, so now there's a little diner for them to maybe go and spend like a friday night or maybe grab some food or something and then i don't know if we're going to do any schooling up here because i don't really think that there's going to be any kids up here this would definitely just be more of like a work scenario where they would come to work and live here for a short period of time and then go back home 
Um, I do want to do helicopter access over here though. So we are going to come in here and we haven't done any helicopter depots yet. So this is actually going to be kind of cool. So we're going to come over here and let's do a helicopter stop because we need to do the depot somewhere. So if we go like this helicopter stop, yeah, right there. Nice. And then let's go ahead and go over to our area that will eventually be an industrial area. I just, we'd, our demand for industrial is just not very high. So then we're going to go ahead and do a road off and create a nice little space for our helicopters. So we'll come up over here. Let's go ahead and turn this on so we can get a 90. Go like that. And then let's jump in here, put in our helicopter depot. And then let's go ahead and have this road turn, go like this. And then let's put in a helicopter stop. And so we do need to still draw in a line for the helicopter. So let's come over here. We need to connect this up first. So we're gonna go like this, just have a curve in, perfect. And then let's go ahead and connect this up now. So we're just gonna have it go straight across. We don't need to do anything crazy. And then let's um, connect this up. We should be able to just do a line across. Nice, and so now we have helicopter access up here. So maybe if somebody didn't wanna drive all the way over here, they could, or maybe if there was like some sort of emergency or maybe they needed to fly in some backup, they definitely could. All right, so I feel like this looks pretty good. Um, Now what I wanna do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. It says this guy's not getting trash, even though he is connected to the road. Yeah, so they're connected. Um, And then I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and got it all done. I did have to extend out our concrete a little bit and our fences as we were kind of having some prisoners on the opposite side. Um, but then I did this kind of ruined decal on all of our concrete just to make it look aged weathered, like it's kind of an older prison area. And I, th I felt like it was just a really nice area, a really cool touch. And then I also did it over here as well with some kind of foliage underneath the buildings just to make it look like these buildings were maybe an older, older facilities or something. Um, that they no longer use and then I did overgrowth going all the way around around these buildings as well I did young lindens around the water treatment facilities I felt like maybe this is one area that's kind of upkept a little bit um, and then I did overgrowth all the way around with some rocks and I think it looks really good go ahead and let me know what you guys think if you're interested in checking out another awesome video go ahead and click on the video on your screen and thank you so much for watching I'll catch you guys on Wednesday